So, um, I just have a trigger warning. This poem, this poem is about FGM, and it's called The Vagina Poem. Even though it's short, you will give me as much time as I need. My vagina, it has a story to tell. A story of hell that befell on this my sacred well. This is a story I must dwell on. About my soul severed and my flesh butchered, butchered, butchered and my blood sputtered. I was six years old when I was told it was time. It's a story of traditions not worth a dime for me. But at the time, only six years old, my crime was already decided that when I reached prime, uh, I was at risk of freely distributing these, my sacred dime. At the time, only six years old, I was told it was time. It's a story of traditions not worth a dime. At the time, only six years old, my crime, it was already decided that when I reached prime, apparently I was at risk of freely distributing this one, my sacred dime. So my vagina, it needed to be sent a message, a message that when I come of age, it shall stay shut only to salvage an image so savage for a culture so fucking savage. Yet I'm here, feeling the rage of the blade as it hit my flesh and the sound of a cut engraved in my brain. I know you guys can see I'm shaking. As the blood was splattering across my thighs as I, as I let out a screeching scream, piercing through lawns far away. Down there lay a piece of my flesh to be thrown away. And today, today, in this hall, the bullshit that they told me is one that I need to trash down for good. And it's something that needs to be understood. Because when I understood, like really understood, like really understood, I still stood there feeling the rage of the blade that hit my flesh and the sound of the cut forever engraved in my brain. As the blood was dripping down my thighs, and my screeching scream was being heard lands far away. And down there, down there lay a piece of my flesh to be thrown away. And I won't be that back. And I will get it back. I'm 43, I still haven't got any back. <laughs> <laughs>